you guys welcome back today i want to talk about watch collecting about uh, newcomers to the watch collections and basically a newbies if you don't have a lot of money and uh, you still like watches and you want to have a cool collection today i want to show you a little example of a super super cool collection that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So we have here three watches. <clears throat> and each of these watches represents something that's really um, like a basic outline of every collection uh, in today's world. And first of all, you have a die watch. And the coolest die watch out here is a Seiko SKS. So this is a super cool collection with a diver dress watch and a quirky chronograph X-Factor watch. That's super cool and uh, you can replace either of these watches with some different watches. I'm gonna talk about that uh, but I put together basically what I have right now just to show you and as a little uh, example and advice to the newbies, the people who are just coming into the hobby of watch collecting. And beware, uh, if you just came, uh, get ready. Get ready. It's gonna be a wild ride. And uh, of course, you can lose a lot of money, but if you buy smart, if you buy a used market, if you hunt on bargains, Craigslist, eBay, OLX, and stuff like that, you can do well. Uh, just be smart and do your research. So, first of all, we have a diver, dress watch, and an X-Factor digital and chronograph watch. And each of these watches is super, super desirable, and uh, you won't have any problems selling either one of them. Uh, so, first of all, we have a Seiko SKS, and I don't know what else to say. This is an iconic dive watch that has a place in a collection among Rolexes, Tudors, Omegas, and this one can stand in that collection, and it has a place. It's a dive watch. Uh, find some reviews, learn all about it. it has the smoothest bezel in the industry, especially in this range. And this is a $200 watch and you can find them on Amazon, probably at some deals at 180 and <clears throat> they used to go 150, but that's not the case, but just check out the bezel action. And super nice watch for the money. There is alternatives and the, the loom on this one is also awesome. So this is a base model with the rubber band. I get asked a lot. They do come on a bracelets, which are super comfy and good looking, but but they are not the best quality. Uh, however, the rest of the watch is super nice quality and it's an awesome watch <clears throat> that has that cool factor that you just love it. I keep coming back to this watch. It has that second kind of cool. Of course, you can uh, replace the, instead of Seiko SKS, you can buy magnificent Orient Ray 2 or Orient Mako 2. It has a nice bull shimmery dial uh, and uh, it's probably, it's the same money, but it has a movement that hacks and hand wounds and the loom lasts all night. And this one also the one was all night so now said that uh, probably I prefer prefer Orient Tree and Mako because I think they have a nice finish and they are overall nicer watches and a nicer bracelet however they are not as half as cool as this one and the cool factor uh, takes a role when you are selling your watch and when you're enjoying your watch. So the best thing is that to pick out the model that you enjoy the most and uh, just have it. So this is around 
200 bucks new. So I will put a link, uh, Amazon links in the description box so you can check that out. Also, if you decide to buy something via my link, I get a little kickback. Uh, nothing major, but I get a little like a dollar uh, if you buy a $200 watch and stuff like that. So moving on to the next one. And this watch, uh, this is vintage watch. And this watch represents here in this video, uh, represents a dress watch. I think I love dress watches. I like divers, chronographs, and dress watches. Those are like my favorite types of watches. And this watch here has that, this represents a dress watch. You cannot buy this. This is a vintage watch. It's Lamar Deluxe, a Swiss made. Uh, so it's nearly impossible to find exact this one, but I love this one because this is, has that bigger case uh, and uh, wears on the wrist very much. Uh, it's, if it's 39 or 40 millimeter case and it's super nice, it's a manual wound watch, has that shimmery dial and it looks nice and the ladies love this what kind of watches. Uh, and it's very nice. Uh, but if you don't wanna go in vintage, uh, way uh, you can buy a new watch like this but I strongly suggest you try to get a vintage so the good vintage watch it looks like this that's a, a watch that can be dressy watch uh, I suggest you find vintage Omega but that's a uh, bit above your budget you can find a vintage Zenith vintage Longines or or just uh, dip into eBay and find a nice looking vintage clean looking watch, Swiss made, Russian made, Pala, Raketa, whatnot. You can get a one for, you can get a nice Raketa Russian watch that looks like this one for 20 bucks and you got the deal. If you don't like vintage, uh, the thing with the vintage, you need to have a good watchmaker. You need to know the stuff, um, buying vintage, uh, you need to have a watchmaker that knows how to fix them and that's not, that is not an expensive one. So uh, if you don't want to risk, you can buy a nice vintage a looking watch that's a brand new, like for example, Orient Bambino or many other Orient watches. You can also get a, a Quartz Dissault that's um, well under 200 bucks and that's a Swiss made. It is Quartz, but you get a true reliability and being so a uh, dressy watch, you're not gonna wear it every day. It can kind of go. So quartz is nice, but uh, uh, I prefer mechanical watches. So this is a manual wound watch. There's a lots of options, so I will try to find some options also on Amazon and put some links. And uh, the last one, uh, but my favorite watch, uh, this is a Casio calculator watch and this is a vintage calculator watch data bank back in from the 85 when i put the new battery the date shown 85. good thing with casio you can get you can find vintage however you can buy a brand new they are still being produced and i think you can find them i'm pretty sure i haven't checked but you can find them on amazon on ebay and if i find it i will put a link in the description box so you can check that out again and this is a super cool watch this one's cool this one's cool but this one has that second kind of cool and it's a super nice watch and it wears on the wrist as well so um it has a calculator which i don't really use but it's just a very very cool watch to have and to own and this one is has a horological significance as well. This is one of the first smartwatches out there and it's super cool even today. I much prefer to wear this than a smart Apple or Samsung watch. So to wrap this up, I will now give you a quick wrist shots of all of these watches. So firstly, my favorite of the lot here, this is Casio Data Bank, it has a nice uh, band that really goes out and I think these lugs are wide enough for a 20 mil or 22 mil NATO band so if you prefer that but this is a just super super cool watch another one that I have here 
I'm just going to show you as this is a vintage dressy watch and you can see how it looks nice on the wrist. Uh, it's a super cool watch and this one has that well, it's a bit chunky and so decent size. My wrist size is 18 and a half centimeters but you can see this is just a gorgeous piece here too have and it ticks very loudly i love that ticks very very loudly super cool and super nice watch and i just love it and the last but not the least uh seiko sks and this is on a basic rubber band that it comes it's nice for summer but the good thing about this one is you can put it on tons of different bands and that's the another thing uh, you can put all of these watches on different bands and you buy a dozen of watch bands nato straps and whatnot and you have with three watches it feels like you have every single day different watch and i will try to roll in some photos so you can see what i'm talking about but it's super cool and uh, this is a super cool everyday watch this is a super cool uh, dressy watch and a quirky little watch that has that X factor as this Casio so yeah this is it that's my two cents for you guys for you uh, newbies and the guys who are uh, just like watches thank you all for watching me I'm EDC Gunner and uh, I think this is a super nice three piece collection and you can build from this you can upgrade this and work your way up or work your way down or just add more watches so tell me what do you guys think uh thank you uh, for watching and uh, see you in the next one